What's up, what's up, what's up, you guys? It's your boy, Xander here, back with another video. And today, we're gonna get into some things. It's about to be legendary mother show. Okay, today we're gonna talk about gayness. Gay, being gay, all that. Well, kinda. So today, um, I wanted to just get on here and talk to you guys about something that I have been seeing increasingly um, on Twitter these last few days. As you guys know, people on Twitter are like, ah, just a little crazy. I did a video talking about some of the dumbest tweets of the last decade, um, and there were plenty. So I'll link that video down in the description below. But today we're gonna talk about what makes a person gay. Um, you know what's crazy is the fact that, you know, I'm having this discussion because I think it's pretty clear, um, well, to most people, um, the definition of gay is someone who has uh, same-sex attraction. Um, so that's basically what homosexuality is. But I've been seeing a lot of people, you know, link a lot of stuff to being gay. So what I wanna do today is kinda go through some of those things and talk about why that is. Why is it that things that have nothing to do with sexual orientation, sexual preference, or anything like that are often equated to being gay. So uh, without further ado, let's get into uh, some of these tweets. So a lot of times, you know, certain things are thought of as gay and um, I think that comes from just the mentality that um, in order to be straight or a person who is straight is gonna fit inside just this tiny square box here. And then um, I will say that to be completely honest, I think that for men, it's a little more, the box is just a little smaller uh, than it is because there's this mindset as far as what masculinity is and you know what masculinity means. And typically, you know, when you think of masculinity in that context and for people who typically think that certain things are really gay other than, you know, sexual preference, masculinity is a very, you know, a very small, box and you know it typically is linked to being hard um not having emotions not displaying those emotions being really rough being a womanizer you know liking certain things not liking certain things you know and i think that that is part of the reason that we have the issues we have today so for one one tweet says that in words with group chats is f words period Um, so I'm not really sure how having a group chat with your friends um, makes you gay, but you know, for most of these, I kind of went and tried to look at, you know, the replies just to see if they were serious. Cause I know a lot of people joke about certain things all the time. Like you have that bone in and bone out wing conversation and things like that. But a lot of these people think these things seriously. Um, you got someone here that says, I don't want my man to wear glasses. I feel like that's a little gay. So. Being, being able to see is gay. Being able to, you know, see you, to look you eye to eye is gay. Hmm, interesting. Um, you have this one here that says, eating vagina is too submissive for me. It feels gay. So here's my issue. <laughs> I don't, it's literally like, the literally the exact opposite from gayness and somehow it equates to gay. Now I do get like the submissive versus dominant thing, but how is pleasuring your woman gay? How does that make you feel gay? How are you involved in a sexual act with a woman and you feel gay? I think that leads to the question of, you know, masculinity and, and what masculinity means. I feel like people equate masculinity and femininity with sexual preference and to be completely honest this may be a controversial belief but i don't believe those equate i don't think that those are the same things i feel like everybody has a masculine energy and a feminine energy and i think you need to be in touch with both no matter who you are sexually you know who your sexual preference is um what i find the problem the problem that i find with these types of things is you know you're expected to fit into this box and then in this box, you have to, you know, confine yourself, your feelings, your emotions, your likes and your dislikes to this box. And you can't step out of it for fear of people calling you gay. And that's not to put a negative connotation on gayness, but to be completely honest in the world and the climate that we live in, there is a negative connotation. Ha! Gay! And so when we get into 
questioning why people are in the closet and why there are download men and you get into those women who are you know shaming men for liking men and women for those who are bisexual out there i think part of the problem is the reason that they do it is because some men feel like you can't even get a pedicure or a manicure some women feel like you can't even get a pedicure or a manicure i'll post this video here my son is gonna take after his daddy and his daddy will not be getting no damn manicures but why do you want all this attention on your hands what the hell do you need dick grabbers for that's for me because if your shit too soft it's gonna make me think you a bitch like you too high maintenance so in there she basically said she didn't want her man getting a pedicure or manicure because that's gay um and i think that when we when we start to have those conversations and when we start to call things as simple as grooming as hygiene gay we're taking it a little too far um, it almost seems like people who are not gay are so obsessed with gayness and being gay and what being gay means that they do everything in their power to make sure that they don't fit in there. When really gayness is just a same sex attraction. So, you know, I had a guy tell me once that when he's washing, he doesn't wash too thoroughly because it's gay. I hope you get it together. Mm -hmm. I hope you do so. Oh, girl. And the, the sad thing is, is people really think that way. If you're in the shower washing yourself and you want to make sure you're getting clean, why are you equating that to gayness? Why are you thinking about gayness at all in the shower? If you are a straight man or a straight woman and you're showering and you're cleaning yourself, gayness should be the last thing on your mind. And so I really don't understand why we continue to equate certain behaviors with gayness. So I'll take you to another tweet. This one says, no homo, but bananas are top three fruits. Imagine being so insecure in your masculinity, in your sexual identity, in your straightness, that you have to preface saying what your favorite fruit is with no homo. And I tell you, to be completely honest, the part that really bothers me about this is that, you know, I scoured Twitter. I scoured Twitter for these types of tweets. Um, and a lot of them, most of them came from the black community. Um, and I think, you know, that is part of an additional conversation that needs to be had. But I think that comes from um, black people have this, the black community has this strict idea or ideology as far as what masculinity is. And anybody that strays from that traditional view of masculinity is thought of as gay or thought of as less than. And I think that that's a problem. Um, so one of the things that I think about often is, you know, black men are really, really athletic. You know, black people in general are athletic. You think about the best basketball player, black. The best entertainer, black. The best tennis player, black. The fastest woman, black. The best gymnast, black. Um, and I always think about how black men are so naturally athletic and naturally gifted, and that's not all of them, but a lot of them are. And how we could dominate, you know, male gymnastics and how we could dominate dance, but there's such a stigma around what masculinity is and what femininity is that we don't allow ourselves to explore that we don't allow ourselves to like what we like so i think that in 2020 when we have this mindset we're robbing ourselves of so much life experience because you know of the fear of being thought of as feminine or gay um you know there are some people that think there's a war on masculinity and i i wouldn't say that i would say there's a war on toxic masculinity definitely but that's because it's it's gotten to the point where you think getting your nails cleaned and getting your feet cleaned is gay. You think washing thoroughly in the shower is gay. You, you know, are scared to eat a banana um, or say that you like bananas for fear of being gay. And like I said, again, this isn't for the people that are joking. These are for people who are really serious and really think that this, these behaviors are linked to gayness. Things like washing thoroughly, things like liking certain foods, things like feeling a full range, the full range of human emotion and being able to talk to the people is not gay. We are at a place now where, you know, being gay is, is more accepted than it has been in recent years and that's great, but we should be able to like what we like from even from a non-sexual standpoint without having to attach the stigma of being gay to it. And I think that that is something that we still gotta work on. In 2020, I would like to see us be more accepting in 2020, I would like to see us, you know, do what we like, you know, have the preferences that we have um, and not have to worry about fitting into the box of, you know, masculinity or for our women fitting into the box of femininity. I think that these things do more harm than good. And I think that when people are confined to those boxes and they're not allowed to explore, and like I said, this is just, this is not from a sexual point of view, this is just in general, 
you know, we cause more issues and we do more harm to ourselves. Life is too short to be trying to, okay, well, I want to like these things, but I'm scared that people are going to think that I'm gay. So I'm not going to hop out of the box just a little bit to, you know, maybe go and learn how to cook or maybe, you know, do some gymnastics or maybe take up dance. I feel like these types of things are damaging and I feel like um, we have to stop this obs obsession with gayness and what's gay and what's not um, and just start to live our lives and enjoy our lives in the way that we want to. Um, so let me know what you guys think down below in the comments, you know, about the conversation, about some of the pictures that I posted of what's gay and what's not. Like I said, the purpose of this is just to continue the conversation and kind of talk about it. Guys, for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Xander. I talk about all things, everything. I do music reviews. I give professional tips from things that I've learned. I get into some things like videos here. Um, the purpose of this channel is just to, to, to continue a dialogue and to talk with my subscribers. So make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you ring that bell so that you guys know when I post new content. I am always getting into some things here on my channel. With that being said, bye guys.